Hi guys, Pat the Plumber here, and in this video we're going to go through a toilet that's making an unwanted noise on the filling process, such as whistling or rattling, or in this case it's making a humming noise that can be heard throughout the home. So we'll go through three different possible causes and the methods to rectify each. So let's get started. Here's the example of the noise that this particular toilet is making. By far the most common cause of these noises on the filling process is a faulty fill valve. The fill valve regulates the amount of water in the tank. A faulty fill valve can cause slow filling times, or in this case, an unwanted noise. A quick inspection shows that the fill valve isn't stopping the water properly when the float rises. If you lift the float, the water should stop completely. The first step in replacing the fill valve is shutting off the water supply and disconnecting the riser. Flush the toilet to empty the tank. Vacuum the remaining water with a wet vac or use a towel or sponge. I'm replacing the old fill valve with the Universal Fluid Master. Pop the center rubber out of the washer. Install the washer over the shank with the wider side up. To adjust the height of the fill valve, release the lock ring by sliding it straight up. Adjust the height, then secure the lock ring back into place. Please note, some fill valves are spun to adjust the height, and the lock ring stays in place. Please refer to your installation instructions. Remove the lock nut holding the old fill valve in place. Slide the new fill valve in and tighten hand tight with the lock nut. Make sure the float is not contacting the sides of the tank. To install the refill tube, attach the refill clip to the overflow pipe. Attach one end of the tube to the port on the side of the fill valve and the other end to the refill clip. If the tube is too long, it can be cut to length. Adjust the height of the fill valve. On most toilets, rough adjustment is that the top of the fill valve is flush or slightly below the top of the tank. If the water supply is in good condition, it can be reconnected using hand tight only. Careful not to over tighten. Open the water supply, slowly at first to reduce water hammering. Fine tune the tank's water level by raising or lowering the float. Spinning the adjustment screw clockwise raises the float, which equals more water, and counterclockwise lowers the float, less water. Your tank or overflow pipe may have markings for water height, but if they don't, set your water level to roughly half inch below the top of the overflow pipe. The second cause is debris in the water supply line. Shutting off the water, disconnecting the supply line, and flushing it into a pail is usually enough to resolve this issue. The final cause is a faulty shutoff valve. This style of valve can commonly create noise. They use a rubber washer to isolate the water. If this rubber washer deteriorates and becomes loose, it can vibrate back and forth and create noise throughout the water distribution system. To replace the toilet shutoff valve, start by shutting off the main water supply to the residence and opening a faucet to relieve the pressure. Open the valve to ensure there's no water pressure. Since this is a compression shutoff, I'll be replacing it with a quarter turn compression ball valve. You may have to use crimp, expansion or solder depending on your current shutoff.
install a new water supply if the old one was in poor condition. Make sure the toilet shutoff valve is in the off position. Turn the water back onto the residence and purge the air in the system by opening a faucet. To remove even more air, run the toilet supply into a bucket. This will help reduce the chance of damaging the fill valve. Connect the water supply to the fill valve, hand tight only, and turn the water back on. Well guys, thanks for watching my video, and like always, if this video helped you out, liking, commenting, subscribing is always greatly appreciated. Till next time.